Hey, it's Marley from The Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, March 2nd. So today, the moon is going to be in Pisces all day. We have our new moon taking place about the midway point, 1236 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't downloaded your moon guide, I would definitely recommend that you do that. If you haven't listened to the new moon in Pisces astro event forecast that I put out, I would definitely recommend that you do that. There's a lot of information to explore, to experience, to unpack. And unfortunately, this particular forecast does not allow me enough time to do that. So definitely dive into those additional forecast features in order to align with the new moon in Pisces and take advantage of all the gifts that it is bringing us. So today we have 10 different aspects taking place and eight of them involve the moon. Right out of the gate, though, we are going to have the sun sextiling with Uranus. The sun, of course, in Pisces, Uranian energy, of course, in Taurus. This is a beautiful blending of energies for us to take a moment, really allow ourselves to escape to la la land, to hold that dream, to hold that vision so freaking hard in our mind space and back it with the emotion of what it would feel like to actually be living that reality. That's how we go ahead. That's how we manifest. The sun in Pisces is about dreams. It is about our intuition. It is about healing and transforming emotionally and sextiling with Uranian energy. Uranus is the higher octave. It's when we bring insight and intuitive uh, aha moments into our crown. This is a good energy to actually think about our physical realms because, of course, uh, Uranian energy being in Taurus is about our physical realms, our relationships, our money matters, um, our routines, the physical realms that we experience each and every single day. And after yesterday's not so good vibe, we're coming to a lot of realizations on what it is that we want to change in our lives. But of course, we have to align with our intuition, with our higher selves, with our dreams in order to actually take the first steps in aligning with that vision, invoking the emotion to back it before we're going to see that change in our physical realities. Now, the moon is going to bump into Chiron in not the most pleasant way. Chiron, of course, the wounded healer, the moon in Pisces, very hypersensitive, picking up on all kinds of energies, some that might not even be ours. We have to understand that the Piscean energy is very connected to the unconscious collective, the darkness, the shadow part, not only within ourselves, but in the greater, grander collective. And we are seeing some very disturbing situations take place and roll out on the great grand global stage that's causing a lot of hurt, a lot of heartache, a lot of fear. The moon bumping into Chiron in this way is making our wounds very noticeable. We almost need to rub salt in those wounds because many of us have become very accustomed to numbing ourselves so that we can avoid our wounds and our hurt and our pain. The moon bumping into Chiron in this way is likely going to activate us in a way that really, really takes us down in that dark funk. Again, we're in the dark phase of the moon. So we do have to sit with the darker thoughts and darker emotions in order to accept them and acknowledge them and integrate them before we can discard them, use them as a building block on what it is we want to move away from what it is we need to heal. Now, Mercury is going to conjunct Saturn. Mercury rules over the lower intellect, rules over our mental plane, the information that we're bringing in, how we perceive our realities, our thoughts, how it is that we communicate and express our thoughts and emotion outward. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. He rules over structures and foundations. He also rules over rules and responsibilities. Mercury bumping into Saturn in this way is likely going to highlight A, where it is that we are thinking futuristically long term right now on what it is that we need to change in our lives as far as new systems, structures, foundations, routines go. B, we are thinking about the roles and responsibilities that we currently have in our individual lives and to the collective. We at this particular point are very somber very heavily weighted in our mental plane. This is where negative Nancy wants to come out and play. 
where it is that we kind of beat ourselves down before we build ourselves back up. This is likely going to trigger some very powerful, very shocking information uh, on the global stage, likely in our individual realms as well, on where it is that things are falling apart. Now, we see damage, death, destruction happening in all corners of the earth right now. Although it's very scary, although it's very negative, it's 100% necessary in order for the old 3D timelines to collapse so that we have a clean slate to rebuild society, rebuild our individual lives in a better way, more in alignment with our highest selves, with the destiny, with the goal, with the dream, with the vision that we're working so hard to actually manifest. Now, the moon is going to sextile Uranus, and this is a beautiful, beautiful energy to work with because we're gaining some serious insight. We are gaining some serious perspective on what it is that we need to do in order to honor ourselves. Many of us sitting in the darkness at this point, recognizing where it is that we are so uncomfortable in this present moment in our physical realms, but we don't know how to change. We don't know what to do. It seems very overwhelming and it is, but this Uranian energy shocks us. It disrupts our inner realms and outer realms in a way where we are more adaptable to some of the changes that we wouldn't even have considered this time last week. The moon goes ahead and semi squares Venus. This really does kind of put the darkness back on what it is that we feel like we are confused about our emotions, our needs, our personal relationships. This is definitely not a good jam. This is happening literally like 10, 15 minutes prior to the new moon peaking in its energy. So we have to expect a little bit of emotional chaos, a little bit of an emotional confusion. And about this time of the day, that is when the moon is going to conjunct the sun, giving us our new moon in Pisces. The moon, of course, is highlighting our emotions, highlighting our unconscious selves, highlighting the past and the attachments to the past and what we need to change in the present moment to detach from the past so that we can align ourselves with the future version. This is why it's so important to really challenge the dark force agenda on these particular manifesting days. We want to hold our vision strong. We want to stay in the highest vibe. We want to really float away into la la land and align with our dream state. But it's going to be hard to do because the dark force energies do not want you to manifest the highest timeline for yourself. So we have this new moon in Pisces. Yes, it's very dark. Yes, it's very troubling. Yes, it's very disruptive to our mental and emotional state. But the goal here is to override that, knowing that the dark force agenda is coming at you, trying to keep your vibe down. And the way that we can override that particular narrative is to think happy thoughts, to laugh, to throw ourselves into things that make us happy, to visualize the goal, the dream, the vision that will make us feel free, make us feel enlightened, make us feel just the happiest we've ever felt. That is how we fight the dark force agenda. And it's definitely coming at us with this new moon in Pisces. The moon is going to continue to make some troubling aspects, uh, both with Mars and with Pluto, the god of war and the god of the underrealm. So Mars here is very frustrated because like we've been talking about, he's in Capricorn energy. He wants to take action. He wants to pursue his new passions and desires. But in Capricorn energy, we have to be a little bit more logical and practical and strategic and calculated on how it is that we're going to do that. And because the moon is our emotions and because Mars is super frustrated, this is likely going to bring up a lot of anger, a lot of frustration for us. Again, the goal is to keep high by, but with all of these negative aspects taking place, it really is going to be a challenge to stay in a positive mind frame. Then bumping into Pluto in not, not, not a nice way. This is illuminating where it is that we're fearful, where it is that we're suffering from pain and uncertainty. And again, Pluto isn't meant to trap us in victimhood. He wants to illuminate all of these darker force thoughts and emotions in order to inspire us and motivate us to move away from that, to stand in our power, to take emotional control 
over ourselves and our thoughts to stay in the highest vibe possible. We're going to get a little bit of help when the moon makes a positive aspect with the true node. This is kind of like us focusing laser beam tunnel vision on the dream, on the goal, on the vision that we need to have in our mind space, in our heart space to motivate us and inspire us to do better. None of us want to set up camp in the present moment. It's not where we want to be. It doesn't feel good. We are going to get a little bit of help because the true note is trying to show us where in the future we want to be. So with these dark force energies really trying to keep our mental and emotional state in a low vibration, the true note is saying, hey, remember the dream that you had for yourself? Remember how good you felt about it just a couple of days ago? Let's sit in that and ride this negative energy wave out. That is when the moon conjuncts Jupiter. This is when we get positive again. This is when we get optimistic again. This is when we have faith that our intuition is leading us in a path that we know is going to be successful regardless of what our physical realms are dictating to us at the moment. Jupiter is about growth and expansion and silver linings and belief. He's in Pisces energy. So this is spirituality. This is our higher selves. This is intuition. And the moon conjunct with Jupiter, although can make us very emotional, uh, very dramatic in our emotions as well, has a positive vibe. We are feeling optimistic we are feeling confident it's almost like we rose to the challenge of the dark force agenda trying to keep us down we rose to that challenge we felt that high vibration we focused our energy on the futuristic vision of our dreams and goals that we actually want to manifest and jupiter just put us in high speed accelerated drive to hold on to that vibe to keep it light to keep it cheerful to keep the possibilities and the opportunities of the future wide open. I want to congratulate you on just surviving the energy of the day. It is very dark, very turbulent, very overwhelming, definitely coming at us from all realms. It is definitely eating away at our mental health, at our heart space. But guess what? We are warriors. We have a heads up. We know how the dark force agenda is going to attack our energy here today. And so we have to do everything that we can to focus on that dream, to focus on that vision, to stay as optimistic and positive about the future as we possibly can to make sure that the dark force agenda does not bring our vibe down and ruin our opportunity to manifest the dream that we are holding in our heart space and in our head space.